And so the fighting uh, became just, I mean, it was brutal. And they attacked the Redemptorist Monastery at Clonard um, on uh, Divas Street. And uh, the, later on with the various commissions, uh, the uh, head of the monastery said, I thought we were dead. And uh, they, they were able to hold them off that night. And then suddenly, the people in the south were getting a little riled up. And I think it was Charles Howe started to ship rifle, rifles up from the south. And the IRA became organized. They called the IRA at the beginning, I ran away. And they overreacted, as they always do. And what they were doing to the Catholics here in 69 and 70 became the greatest recruiting poster for the IRA that you could believe. You guys would be perfect. You tags, if you were living in Northern Ireland, right, and Catholic, and walking through a Catholic, they would rip you off the street. They would detain you. They'd beat the hell out of you. Well, even middle-of-the-road people who don't ever want to use violence, what does that do? It radicalizes you. There are no middle-of-the-road people when that happens to your son, to your brothers, to your sisters. And so the IRA, um, the, the old IRA kind of went by the uh, wayside and the provost, the provisional IRA, took over and they started to defend the neighborhoods and they got rifles and they started fighting. And pretty soon you had Belfast was in conflict. Uh, what happened, they called, they called in the British Army. The Catholics there met them with open arms. They were happy as can be to see these guys because they held the peace. The Catholics were getting the holy heck beat out of them. And the British Army came and they were met with uh, cheers and cups of tea and biscuits. And, uh, but they did what, what, British, what, what any army does after a while. You take sides. Well, they're going to take the pro, the loyalist, the British side. Uh, and by the way, the terms there, a loyalist is a Protestant who will use violence, paramilitary. A unionist is supposed to be middle of the road. Um, Protestant who won't use violence. On the other side, you have Republicans, and that would be Catholics, IRA, Sinn Féin, who will use violence. And then you have uh, nationalists, and they belong to a party that was formed in the early 70s called the SDLP, the Social Democratic Labor Party. John Hume will lead that, and they are totally nonviolent. In fact, they were the major political party over Sinn Féin until the 1990s. Sinn Féin is now the largest Catholic party in the North. But don't want to get ahead of the story. So the British come in and um, they, uh, they, they start to take sides. And one night when there's a lot of rumbling going on, they, uh, this one British regiment goes kind of crazy. And they take out their bars, Browning automatic rifles, which was a, is a hell of a weapon. Army doesn't use it anymore, you know, the M16 modified. But the Browning automatic rifle uh, shoots something like 12 shells a second. It has a range of almost two miles. And they started spraying West Belfast. One British soldier who was home on leave, he was in the British Army, he was a Catholic from Northern Ireland, looked out uh, from his window and he was shot dead. A kid was shot in his bed. And uh, suddenly the British Army turned. And it became then absolute, total guerrilla warfare. And the IRA is the only protection that the people have. And they're getting in guns and they're getting in training and um, sworn to secrecy. And now the troubles are in earnest. The government in the North, uh, the Protestant government is disbanded and the British take over. Now, the Brits, as you saw in this latest war, they had the 25,000 troops. They're good. They're damn good. They also have been accused of atrocities against the Iraqis already. But um, uh, they would infiltrate an MI5 and MI6. MI6 is their best intelligence, intelligence unit. MI5 are their Secret Service kinds of people, like our uh, Army Ops, Special Ops, and so forth. And as it got bitterer and bitterer, the, uh, they would infiltrate the IRA, they would try to get informers. Um, the um, MI5 would commit acts of atrocities against uh, British people. 
the, the loyalists and then blame the IRA for it to incite things. Oh, there, there's a wonderful book out called uh, uh, The Dirty Tricks War. And what the Brits were doing was wonderfully nasty. Uh, they play for keeps, and they're really good.